the Lakes Bird Squad. This is Pixie from Pixie Moons. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are a returning member, thank you so much. Uh, if you are new, welcome. I make astrology videos like this one. I make card readings, I make Reiki videos to help you relax. Try and understand what's happening in the stars because <laughs> it's not always um, very easy to follow and to help you confirm your own guidance and intuition. Today I am coming at you with the official t-shirt of this channel. Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I do wear other things. I have other clothes. I swear. I just happen to wear this a lot when I make videos. But hey, it's good. Who doesn't like skulls, right? Murray says hello. This week's episode of Astral Week, episode 11, you guys. Um, so this is the week running from the 6th till the 12th of April. Two things are happening, a new moon in Aries, but that's going to be in another separate video with a picker card. You already know the vibes. And the second thing is Juno retrograde in Sagittarius. Let's get into it. Juno, Juno. I just had to. Juno is one of the asteroids circumnavigating between Mars and Jupiter, along with Ceres, Pallas, and Vesta. And on the 12th of April, she's going retrograde. Uh, but first, let's kind of introduce what she does and who she is. In the Roman mythology, Juno was the wife of Jupiter. She is the patron saint of wives and marriage. She's ex by extension associated to family life. It would be halfway, is zodiacally speaking, zodiacally speaking, she would be halfway between Cancer and Libra, if that means anything to you. Compromising and having balanced relationships is very important to her. That's like the main focus. So she will be retrograde in the fiery sign of Sagittarius. When celestial objects go in retrograde, generally the focus switches from the outside to the inside. So we tend to reflect and things tend to happen to us on a more personal level or more intimate. Sagittarius is all about learning, but at, at a higher level. This is higher level of learning. It is also interested in spirituality. It loves traveling and just generally expanding its horizons in any way possible. Sagittarius is very open like that. So if you are in a relationship, this is gonna be the time to reflect upon it. See the bigger picture. What does it mean to you? And what can you learn from it on a human level, on a spiritual level? Um, how is it taking you? In what ways can you grow together? If you're not in a relationship, that's fine. <laughs> I believe personally that you are always in and your main focus should be on the relationship you have with yourself. In what ways can you improve it? How can you get to know more about yourself? This is it for this week's episode of Astro Week. Keeping it short and sweet for you guys. If you haven't yet, please check out the Patreon. Uh, it's a growing community. I'm very excited about that. You get videos ahead of time. You get art, guided meditations, and anything I happen to have an idea about and create. Custom pledge is $5, but you can give whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you there. And I also have other social media platforms. It's all in the description box. I hope to see you on there as well. And until I see you again, remember, you're protected, you're supported, and you're divinely guided.